Taurus, in this ever-changing world, the tarot cards and the astrology stars are like having two very wise and helpful friends to inspire and guide you. The tarot card for the first week of October is the Page of Cups. The second week is the Seven of Swords. The third week is the Page of Pentacles. And finally, the Page of Swords ends the month. Taurus, the tarot card for the first week of the month is the Page of Cups. This is a positive energy that suggests some good news may come your way. Stay aware of the ideas that come to your mind, for you may be highly psychic at this time. There may also be some pleasurable or romantic activities coming in the near future. Now, as we look down into the astrology, the month begins with Mercury in the fifth house of pleasure in opposition to Neptune in the 11th house of associates. Now, this is a very tricky energy that can get you in over your head if you believe everything you hear. The problem is that a business associate or friend may be weaving a tall tale which may promise more than can be delivered. You must maintain common sense boundaries. Some help may be on the way as Mercury in your fifth house of pleasure will also trine Pluto in the ninth house of ambition. Now this happens midweek. So Pluto tends to expose truth, allowing you to make better decisions about what you can and should not do. If you want to make your mark on the world, pay attention. You can be ambitious, but not vicious. <laughs> now the tarot card for the second week of the month is the Seven of Swords. This is a tricky card that suggests you need to pay attention to what is going on around you. Someone may be lying or manipulating business or personal situations. So keep your own actions above board, stay aware, and you will stay safe. As we look down into the astrology, the second week begins with a big bump as Mars in the sixth house of daily routine will square Pluto in the ninth house of ambition. This energy warns you to be careful when dealing with co-workers who have different political and social views. They may not understand you, and you may not understand them. Another challenge may visit the end of the week as Venus in the fifth house of pleasure opposes Saturn in the eleventh house of associates. Here again, care is needed when networking with friends and associates. Know your boundaries. Now, there is a trine from Mars in the seventh house to Saturn in the 11th on the 13th. And there's a new moon on the 14th in your sixth house. So that may help smooth things out as common sense can be put into action. So focus yourself on new work projects and improving your health and well-being. Before moving on to my predictions for the second half of the month, I would like to ask your indulgence for just a moment. If you don't mind, please just ring the little thumbs up like button below the video and please share my videos with your friends. These both help the YouTube algorithm and more people get to see the videos. Also, if you have any interest in developing your own psychic, spiritual, or healing abilities, then I'm sure you will enjoy a copy of my book, The Art of the Mystic, The Master Course in Spiritual and Psychic Development. It captures the teachings of my master and also the experiences I've had personally with my psychic and spiritual development. And in combination, that literally covers over 100 years of experience in the psychic and the spiritual. So I think you may find it very useful. It may be able to guide you and offer you inspiration towards your own spiritual development. So if you would like to order, just send me an email to 3339spirit at gmail.com. 
that's 3339spirit at gmail.com, and I will send you the details. And it's under $20, so it is not too expensive, and that will cover shipping and handling as well. So thank you, and let's get back to the predictions. The tarot card for the third week of the month is the Page of Pentacles. This is an important card that signifies money, learning, and ideas. This is a good time to take a new course of study, listen to business ideas, and watch your budget. There may be a new business opportunity coming your way. Now, as we look down into the astrology, the third week begins with a challenging Sun-Mercury conjunction in the sixth house of daily routines, which is squared to Pluto in the ninth house of personal ambitions, especially that will deal with your work situation. So you're going to have to be very careful expressing yourself in work. Pay attention to your present responsibilities. Then you can dream about your future plans. The end of the week will settle down as Venus in the fifth house will try Jupiter in the first. Now this is a great energy for romance and personal enjoyment. You can express the best parts of your personality and attract new admirers. And then Saturn in the 11th house will trine down to Mercury in the 7th. This is also a positive energy that helps you negotiate what you want from associates. The tarot card for the final week of the month is the Page of Swords. Now this is an important card that expresses a need to be diligent and prepared. There is always the possibility of a challenging situation that is coming your way. If you are prepared and ready for action, you will be successful. You are able to stand your ground. Now, as we look into the astrology, the month ends as Saturn in the 11th house will trine the sun in the 7th house, bringing a stabilizing energy through cooperation. If you are trying to achieve goals that will bring you before the public, this is a good time to network with partners and associates. You will get support. The energy peaks again as Mercury conjuncts Mars in the seventh house, and both will oppose Jupiter in the first house of personality. Just make sure you are listening carefully to others because success may depend on them. Now, the month ends with unexpected energy as a full moon and Venus in the fifth house <laughs> trying Uranus in the first house may bring new opportunities for you to express yourself. You should allow your genius to shine before others, no matter how unusual it sounds. It's your uniqueness. I'd like to thank you for watching and thank you for listening. I hope you'll subscribe and like my videos. And if you would ever like a personal psychic and spiritual reading or a natal or transit astrology chart, just go to my website, professorastrology.com. And I hope you have a fabulous month.